sorry, man. Uh, Robert Garcia has offered to pay, uh, offered to train Errol Spence Jr. Let's talk about it. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Uh, next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase your chance, get notifications. We go live or drop video. And I actually think this is a great opportunity for Errol Spence. Uh, I know there have been some questionable things said about the Garcia camp regarding black people. I know some things going behind the scenes that I know for a fact happened. Um, but hey, it is what it is. Um, you know, people who know, who know. The guy who had the video, you know, he refused to show the video because he wasn't, he didn't, he didn't secretly record the man. But he just he just so happened to catch it on camera, you know what I mean? But yeah, I heard what the fuck he said, dude. Like I said, I said I know a lot of things that are going behind the scenes that a lot of these dudes don't want to say because they don't want to lose access. And like I said before, that's how you feed your family. Shit, I ain't knocking the nigga. He wasn't recording the guy saying what he said, you know, because on purpose, he just so happened to get it on camera. I remember. Uh, after War B. Cole left the second time, and they caught that conversation between Terrence Crawford and um and Andre Bardo about fighting Sean Porter, and like Terrence was like, "Ain't nobody trying to fight that rugged, rugged nigga." <laughs> and people said, "Well, see, he ducking Sean Porter, and that's where that he don't want to fight Sean Porter came from." And the cameraman, just, he wasn't even he was just you know in the locker room getting the reaction from the fans. I mean, getting the reaction from everybody in the locker room. So you'd be surprised what you catch on camera. He probably, you know, he probably didn't really, really pay attention to what to what he picked up. Because if he did, you know what I'm saying, he probably would have, uh, he probably, he probably would have uh, clipped that shit up into a shorter video and made some bread. Because they just said some nasty things about Andre Ward, especially that article that's still that's still up, I believe, about him ducking Miguel Kessler or ducking uh, Lucian Butte, I think it was. So what's so funny is, you know, I say something about a fighter and get my opinion. They get mad. And I know a lot of other people, get they get mad at for having that opinion. That's why these niggas don't really give you, they be biased as hell. And they call and tell them niggas not to work with you or not to let you in the media room. That's why I'm good on that. Even if it's subjective and true, that's just how these niggas operate. And with social media, I kind of feel where they're coming from. But... You know, Robert Garcia did some really good things for Marcos Madonna in a short period of time. Him, Big G, and Mikey Garcia, because remember, he was on suspension at the time. He was in litigation with top rank. So they really helped get Marcos Madonna all the way together as a fighter. And he came back, you know, with some refined skills. So they've, they've rebuilt the fighter before. They've rebuilt the fighter before. You know, he didn't get knocked out, but he got out boxed by Devin Alexander. They didn't rebuild the fighter before. So that's what you got to understand. They didn't rebuild the fighter. <gasps> so, um, so some of the skills that they can help, if they can give, you know, you know, Madonna some, some refined skills, then why can't they do that for Errol Spence, in my opinion? Okay. But uh, Robert Garcia uh, opened a training Errol Spence. So that's what I'm saying. Why can't they give some of that skill set to, uh, you know, to uh, to Errol Spence. And I think Errol Spence was a way more refined fighter technically than Marcus Madonna was. Marcus Madonna, he was a dog. You know, him in that fight he had with Eric Morales is one of the best fights you will see. Him in that fight he had versus Vir Virgil Ortiz, but Virgil Ortiz quit. So I don't deserve to be taking this punishment. You know what I'm saying? That was a classic. So he been in, he been in some good fights. A good fight against Mir Khan. He came up a little short in, you know. So yeah, you know he he been in some good fights. Watch all Madonna's fights. I mean him, Katelnik, Lucas Matias, they was breaking that heat. They were they was they was they was breaking that heat. You know they was breaking that heat, bro. And it was bringing heat, so I think they could do really good things for Earl Spence. Honestly, I think they could do really good things for Earl Spence and Oxnard. And then I think the best thing for him, we we'll get the hell out of is to get the hell out of uh, is get the hell out of uh Dallas. I've been saying that. 
You know, a lot of these niggas don't know what's best for them, bro. When you get successful, you can't stay in your home area, bro. Not even the suburbs. All that shit that happened to him, he moved somewhere like uh, 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 Vegas or he moved somewhere, you know, you know, you know, matured a little bit, moved somewhere. I don't know. Uh, you know, Florida, whatever, somewhere warm. He probably want to stay, man. And you want to be around your family, but you got to make certain sacrifices, bro. You a target. Niggas is jealous. And that's what they don't understand, bro. They think, we think sometimes as human beings that, you know, we see this happen to that person, this happened, it's not going to happen to us. Oh, yeah, it can. And when it happens, it's going to be a surreal situation. It's going to be real surreal, bro. Real surreal. So he said, I, if I if I if he reached out, I would definitely consider speaking and talking to him. Said trainer Robert Garcia, two and zero boxer, would ask if he a trainer Earl Spence. I would love the, uh, to because those are challenges for me too. He said, look at Marcus Madonna. We had the best paydays of his life when he came to me. So sometimes fighters uh, need something like that to come to the Mexican boxing gym. Maybe Spence needs something like that. Yeah, he fought like a Mexican already. Can no Negro help him? Not too many. He said he already has a great style. He was pound for pound. He was one of the best fighters in the world. It's just little touches, said Robert, about Spence. Honestly, I would be challenged, challenged for me. I wouldn't mind. He said it would be a good challenge for me. I would love to talk to him and put something together. Why not? You know, just make sure he pay you. He don't pay them the Mexicans. They're going to be on your ass like five minutes to 11. He said, uh, I have a team too, but I'll talk to my team and everything. Why not? There are still many things that we could still do, said Robert Garcia. He He's a guy who's done it before. He's a guy that's recalibrated a fighter before. He's a fighter that built guys from the ground up like his brother. He's a former world champion. His father does a great job too, Big G. So you're talking to the person that actually done what they, done what you need done. I, I hate. I'm not hating on Coach Cal. This is way better fit than Coach Cal. A guy that understands your style, probably can improve your hook, and all that. So to me, this this makes a, a, a tremendous amount of sense. Uh, this makes a tremendous amount of sense. A tremendous amount of sense. You know. And he get to get the hell out of Dallas, bro. That's where all his problems coming from. So just imagine the shit we know about. We don't, we don't even know about people nickeling and diming them, asking for a favor. Niggas be thinking, oh, I want to be close to my family for my kids. Man, fuck that. Go do what's best for you, bro. See them niggas, in, and see them niggas on the holiday. Real talk, you got to do what's best for you. you know, my mother told me a long time ago, it's probably best for me to leave. But I should have stayed gone, to be honest, bro. And I think that's the best way for a lot of young black men is just to leave. Figure it out. Leave the hood. That's why you see some niggas, you know, uh, uh, their mama's new boyfriend come out, and the first thing they do, if they ain't doing nothing productive, they throw, they, they throw that ass on the curb. Because they know, they know what, 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 they've been there before. They know what they need. Sometimes, I remember I had a manager and shit, and he was uh, gay. And he basically said that this is because he was gay. You gotta remember, you gotta remember the time the time it was, man. This before this shit really became trendy and stuff. And he said that his parents threw him out on the curb. He was he was in Memphis sleeping on the tent. He was sleeping in the tent. Real good dude, bro. And um, just because he came out, they threw him out the house sleeping in the tent. And he he worked his way up into management. And you know what I'm saying? He was a good dude, bro. You know, he had some people from, from another place of establishment. He was making sure they had jobs in this new place. He, you know what I'm saying? Making sure, you know, making sure everybody's schedule was good and whatever. You know what I'm saying? So, like I continue to say, man, it's just to the point where, um, you know, sometimes that's what, that's what, that's that, that's be a blessing in disguise for a lot of people. You know, that'd be a blessing in disguise, though, you know. They don't treat they don't treat women like that because it's you know I feel sorry for them and but then women land on their feet a lot quicker than men because they got so much assistance and they got the box so dude's gonna take care of a woman no matter if she's selling it or whatever a lot of these simpletons gonna take care of a woman 
They ain't going to treat a bird like a bird like I tell y'all to. Like my brother AOQ said, you got to treat a bird like a bird. You know, but but nonetheless, uh, I just feel that uh, that's a good move for him because they did it before. We've seen it before. You go you go with other guys who ain't never did it before. That's the problem. You know, and obviously there, there's got to be a report here. And one thing about Robert Garcia, he ain't going to take no bullshit. He said him and AJ kept getting into arguments. So if you if you if you ain't looking for a yes man, he ain't your guy. So he gonna challenge you on some shit. He gonna challenge you. So let me know what you girls and guys think about it, man. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Uh, next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase your chance get notifications. We go live and drop video financially. Want to support the channel? Uh, Cash App, Dollar Sign, CJ Good 313, Venmo, CJ Good 313, PayPal link in the description. Hit the link tree, find me on X, Spotify, Anchor, uh, Cash App, Venmo, Kick, the whole nine. Appreciate the love and support. Peace.